Analysis of new functional profiles of protein isoforms yielded by DX exonization in rice. Transposable element is a DNA fragment which can move on the chromosome. T is inserted into the intronic sequence of a gene may not affect the gene's function because of regular splicing. Sometimes TE contains splice donor receptor sites, which compete with the original ones of axons, then yields axonization. Exonization is an event which an intronic TE provides splice sites and leads to alternatively spliced cassette axons. Thus, without disrupting of the inserted genes function, TEs can expand the proteome's diversity by adding the splice variant that encodes a different yet functional protein. DS is a TE from maize. Previous studies indicate that when the DS is inserted in forward direction, it offers one donor site. When the DS is inserted in reverse direction, a continuous splice donor consensus region was determined by offering four donor sites. We further conducted a genome-wide survey for all DS exonized transcripts in each intron of each gene in rice genome by simulations and characterized the, the translated protein isoforms as C-terminal or anterior variants. In this study, these variants were scanned with ProSci Pro database in order to identify new functional profile referred to their reference proteins. The new profiles of the variants were expected to be beneficial for selective advantage. Compared to their reference proteins, 74% of the DX exonized protein variants yielded new functional profiles, which were classified as 17 types according to the new exonized messages. From a total number of 19 million profiles, only 876 unique profiles were determined from 2,456 profiles, indicating multiple appearance of a profile in a type, a variant, or an intron. To this, we analyzed the exonized variants by presenting the total number of profiles as well as the number of unique profiles. According to the exonized messages, the functional profiles for types A1, B1, E1, F1, and F6 characterized as non-DS specific profiles, the number of which was much higher than that of DX specific profiles, yet the number of unit profiles was 1.5 fold greater for DX specific than non-DS specific profiles. Therefore, DS specific profiles provided more unique profiles for selective advantage. Since exonization occurs when a TE inserts into a gene's intron, we studied how many total and unique profiles an exonized intron may yield.
via DX insertion and subsequent externalization events, an intron can yield up to many new functional profiles and up to 16 unique profiles. Also, we determine the number of genes in which every intron can yield at least one functional variant via TE exonization, termed as exonized intron saturation. About 90% of all genes were saturated, and 4% achieved near saturation. Conclusion, T exonization can enrich the proteome for evolution because the TE is a medium to add and or change the local domain of the reference protein. As a consequence, T exonization diversifies a gene's products for selective advantage without disrupting the gene's function.